Hey guys, today I'm going to talk to you about Midjourney, which is software that you can use to create digital images. And so in order to use Midjourney, you have to set up a Midjourney, you go to midjourney.com and you actually have to create an account on Midjourney. And then once you do that, you also have to go to discord.com and you have to also create an account on Discord. So in order to use Midjourney, you have to go to both of these sites to actually create an account in order to generate digital AI or art work. Um, your Midjourney is going to store all of your images that you create using the Discord server and the Discord is where you're going to generate your digital art, okay? And so um, if you're new to Midjourney or this AI digital images software, check out my YouTube channel. And on my YouTube channel, I have a playlist. And on that playlist, it will walk you through how to set up Midjourney and Discord from the beginning. In this video tutorial, um, I'm just going to talk briefly about creating prompts and then I'm going to show with you some of the favorite prompts that I've used and um, show you what they look like. So once you create your Midjourney account and you create your Discord account, you will be able to generate your digital images. Now, when you're new to Midjourney and Discord, um, if you don't actually set up a membership, then you get, um, you can get free use of it, but you're limited. Okay. And once that you've reached that limit of digital images, then you're, you know, your only alternative is to pay for the software. Now, when you're, um, first using it, you will actually have, you know, um, servers that you can go into like here with this mid journey bot you can actually click on that and you can actually find rooms um that you can actually let me go here to um you can find rooms that you can create your digital images in okay but right now i'm going to go into make sure i clicked on the right one here so when you're new you would actually go and you would test out um, some of the sites for newbies. And let's see here. So you can go to general, general one, two, three, four, five. So you would want to click on the mid journey little sailboat here. And then you would just click on one of these little rooms and then you would be able to generate your prompts. Now, that being said, when you generate your prompts, it's going to be mixed in with all the other people that possibly have free accounts. So, you know, you'll you'll have to locate your images in with everybody else. OK, but once you create a membership, then you can create a server. So I actually have my own server. I have a server for my Facebook group and then I have a server that I use just for myself. OK when I don't want to be in the mix of all the images, then I just go to my own Ken Doris's Creative Craft server. But I also have my Facebook group, which is Ken Doris's Creating Creative Crafters, that um, I also have a server for my Facebook group members. So in order to generate digital images, all you would do is you would come down to this little plus sign and click there. And you always want to start your prompt with the forward slash and then you want to type in imagine. Okay. So it will automatically display once you start typing in your letters, what's available. So here we have imagine. And then here's your prompt. And this is where you're going to um, enter your text to generate your images. So um, you could type in anything that you want to see. So you could say, little African American girl sitting on top of an ice cream cone. So you can type in just the text 
you can um, add all types of things. So it looks like the server is slow here for some reason tonight. Um, but anywho, when you type in your prompt, you're going to get a variation of images. Okay, so when I typed in little African American girl sitting on top of an ice cream cone, this is what it gave me. Now, I can get more detail to get exactly what I want. So here we have a little African American girl, not quite sitting on top of an ice cream cone, but um, you can fine tune and add more words. Okay, um, so let's try this again. Let's go forward slash imagine a um, little African American girl sitting on top of a vanilla. Okay, you can add aspect ratios in here for your sizing, and you can also add in quality. Um, but I would highly recommend that you go and watch my video tutorial on Mid Journey so you can learn the ins and outs. All right, oh, I put my five in there. Hold on one second. You gotta put a space between that Q and that five. And if you do something wrong, it'll show you just like it did here, what the issue is with your prompt. Now I know I did not put a comma. All right, let's get this together. Q. Go dot dot q uh -oh. a little bit rusty y'all because it's been a minute since I was in my um all right let's see aspect ratio should be all right let's go in and I guess this is good for you guys to see, especially if you're new. So, you know, when you get these messages, it's going to tell you exactly why your prompt did not work. So let me just make sure that I got everything before I hit enter. So I want little African-American girl sitting on top of vanilla ice cream cone. And we're going to take out the comma. And now we should be good. All right, so I'm going to do dismiss these messages. And let's see what we get this time. Little African American girl sitting on top of a vanilla ice cream cone. We got aspect ratio of three to two. And then we got quality five. Now, this time I added um, aspect ratio and quality. You don't have to put that in. It will automatically pick up prompts without that, but you can get very detailed to get more of what you want. So here you can see that by adding a few more words, aspect ratio, quality, we did get somewhat of we, what we wanted. We got a little African-American girl here sitting on top of an ice cream cone. Now these, she's actually holding the ice cream cone in her hand, but you can see how you can get that. And you can also go in, if you like that one, you can say, you know, give me variations. So you're gonna get four images. So one, this is two, this is three, and this is four. And you wanna know the order because if you want to do a variation, you have to know which image is which. So this is one, two, three, four. So we're going to do a variation of three, and all we have to do is click on B3. 
and it is going to generate the images for us. Um, I like the fact that it lets you know exactly how long it's going to, well, not really how long it's going to take, but it lets you know the status. So you can see we're at 27%. eighty three percent and it's pretty quick you know unless you're a newbie guys and you're in one of the general rooms you know it could take a minute because you're in the mix of everybody else okay but once you get a membership it's a little bit um, easier on you because you're not in the mix of everybody else so here we have our images okay and like I said you can add more words to um, increase the way this will look. But I just wanted to come in and show you that in order, because I get a lot of questions on what is Mid Journey, I just wanted to show you what it is, show you that you have to have both the Discord um, account and a Mid Journey account. Mid Journey is going to store your images and Discord is going to be where you generate your, your images or your prompts, okay? Um, and so now, when I go back over to um, Midjourney, let's see here. Um, I just want to show you that you can get inspiration from the community feed. So these are all images that people have generated inside of Midjourney that do not have private accounts. And if you wanted to use these, you could highly go in and um, go, you can go in and use any of these prompts that you see. So like if you like this, you could click on the image. And then you would click on these three little dots and say copy full command. You always want to copy the full command. And now I can go over to Discord. and paste that prompt in. And let me see, what did I do? I think my finger hit something else. Hold on one second. Oh, I hit the timeout. All right, let's do this again. Imagine, and then put your prompt that you just copied and enter. Now, I highly recommend if you're going to get inspiration from others, you know, play around with the wording, you know, to make it your own. Um, don't go in and always just copy someone else's prompt, you know. Um, add your own little special words or touches to it. All right, so we're going to see what we get. Now, with digital art, you're not going to get the same image twice. So this person got this image. We're going to see what we get. And that's the great thing about your digital um, art or your AI, artificial intelligence um, images. The great thing about it is you don't have to worry about you creating an image and other people getting that very same image. It's going to be something different about it. Um, so that's a good thing. So you can see how we use the same prompt that they used, but these are the images that were generated. Okay, pretty. Now this one, that's another thing with the um, AI and digital images is that sometimes you're gonna get extra limbs in there. Our hand looks kind of funny right here. So you do wanna watch out for those things. Sometimes people will type in um, in their prompt, they'll put in no extra arms or limbs or hands or legs or anything like that. But for the most part, mid journey, um, is pretty much a hit, you know, every now and again, you may see some funky stuff like that, you know, but for the most part, you're going to get some really nice images. Okay. So anywho, that is mid journey and discord. And, um, I will create a link to my Facebook group. If you would like to join my Facebook group, um, Discord server. I will create a link in the description um, and there will also be a link in the, the description to my Facebook group.
if you would like to join my Facebook group. But if you're watching this, I know you're on my YouTube channel, so please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you 20 of my images that I've generated, and I'm going to show you the prompts that I used. And you're more than welcome to pause the video and use you know, any of these prompts that you see. So I'm going to bring that over here. And I'm going to try to go through these pretty quickly. All right, so here we have uh, one of the prompts that um, I used. And you can see the words that I use to generate or create this image. I think she looks amazing. And so some of the things that you see here is you see um, in the style of, which you'll see a lot in Mid Journey. If there's an artist out there that you like their work, you can say in the style of and use the artist's name. Um, you could put things like magazine photography in there, realistic skin to get better images. And then this V5, it just stands for the versioning, okay? So next up, we have these adorable cuties, and you can see what prompt I used. Um, here, you can see I added things like highly detailed, vibrant, winter snow, no signatures. Because sometimes you will see that there are signatures, um, as you can see here in your artwork. Now, just because you type no signatures, it doesn't mean that there's not going to be any signatures. Just like if you type no extra limbs or arms or legs, that doesn't mean it's not going to show up in the image because it's it's AI. So, you know, it's kind of hit or miss. But again, we, we got a style of Thomas Kincaid and Ross Tron um, in there. Um, so you can see how I'm using more words to get better images and more so what I'm looking for, okay? Then we have this gorgeous lady here. And again, we have the version five. We're using the realistic skin, magazine photography. We have an artist in the style of Charlie Bowater. This time we're using center composition and ultra HD um, in there along with asymmetrical face, vibrant colors, chibi style. So just some things that you can think about when you're typing in those prompts um, to get what you're looking for. And one of the biggest things is that people complain about in Mid Journey is getting images that's not the full body. So here you can see I added standing full hyphen body, standing head to toe. Um, and then I added things like exposure, gamma, megapixel, um, Ultra HD all in there to get a complete image, okay? And then we have this beautiful older lady and look at the skin on there. Everything looks so realistic. Glasses look amazing. Colors are very nice. And so very simple. We just said cute little old lady, African-American sleeping on the sofa, we say mouth wide open again, it's hit or miss, scarf on her head, we have that, glasses um, falling off her face, not quite, um, and then we have by the Arthur Ernie Barnes, okay, and then we have these two adorable handsome little fellas, you can see we used here photorealistic, um, we got the 3D animated in there so that they look animated, not so realistic. Um, we got kawaii chibi style and ultra HD in there. And again, in the style of, we added Lutron to the mix this time as far as artists are concerned. Now this one is very realistic. Um, I think the style raw and the geographic photography kind of helped on this one, but you can see we use the mischievous smile, black hair, hazel eyes, head high, looking proud, supermodel pose, National Geographic photography. We got our aspect ratio of two to four in there, and then the style raw, very realistic, very realistic. It looks like, it doesn't look like a digital image that we just use. Uh, create using words that look like a picture someone took of their kid with their pit bull. 
Now this one is amazing. I love this. Um, just think of all the different ways you can incorporate this into home decor. You know, you can make shower curtains, you can make a painting out of this. There's all types of um, print on demand companies out there that you can upload these images to and have them to um, print this out on all types of things. Like I said, shower curtains, paintings, they can do the t-shirts, the mugs, luggage, all that great stuff. But here you can see we again, we put the African American in there. Um, and then we put an aspect ratio of 58 to 77. Now I've never used a ratio this high, never saw it before, but it turned out great. So, hey, I'm, I'm going to stick with it. I like it. Um, another thing I want to tell you guys is that with the um, with the digital art, um, you can change any of these words, guys. You don't have to use the words. If you don't want delicate flowers or precise and lifelike and you want more 3D animation, just change the wording. That's it. Just change the wording and you'll get, you know, something closer to what you're looking for. This one, I just typed in very simple silhouette shape of an African-American dad and daughter. And a lot of people question me as to why I use African-American so much. It's because I try to stick to a lot of the black art that it's hard for me to find. So since I'm creating digital art and I know I like black art, that's why I use African-American um, in a lot of my prompts. But you don't have to. You can just put in silhouette, silhouette shape of, an, of a dad and daughter and you're going to get a great image as well, okay? Now we have uh, another one of those standing um, head to toe. Now this one, again, remember it's hit or miss. It didn't give us head to toe, but we got half of the body on this one. We could add in more keywords to get that full image, um, standing, head to toe, things like that, um, standing on carpet, those types think types of words and your prompts will help you to get what you're looking for. And then we have this beautiful, beautiful one. Um, I can highly see this in my um, place as um, a painting, a wall art. So you can see the prompt that was used there. This time we used a three, three to four angle photo by Sylvia Palacero. And I don't know if I said that name correctly, but you see it there on your screen. Um, we use Flickr, pop art, Afro-inspired, colorful adornments, pops of earthy colors, Lisa Eldridge, makeup in a high fashion studio, HD, 8K, aspect ratio 9 to 16, and then again, style raw version 5.1. And now we have these two gorgeous ladies here. Again, I use the African-American because that's what I'm looking for. You can just type in um, woman, steampunk, and then complete the prompt there. Um, you can put in styles, guys. So this S stands for style. Your again, AR is your aspect ratio. And again, this is your versioning. If you don't put in any of this, it's fine, guys. It's still going to create an image for you. But like I said, the more you get used to it, you'll you'll get what you want when you start adding more keywords. All right, and here's another one. And we added quality to this one. So um, anytime you're putting in your aspect ratio, your versions, your style, your quality, you want to make sure you put in the two hyphens and then start it out in a space in between, you know, what you want it to be. Um, but yeah. And then we have the little mouse wearing a little blue cape. You can change it to a red cape, black cape. You can change the cloche to a hat, a hat by itself. Um, it could be a different color. It could be standing next to anything you want it to be standing next to. Here we see it standing next to a coin surrounded by blue bells and stones. And I put an extra period in there, but the digital AI doesn't care because it still picked up an awesome image for us. Then we got the little kittens. Love that. Um, here we did an aspect ratio of 9 to 16. We have Pixar style. Um, natural reality, 
laughing, fluffy hair, having fun on the merry-go-round. Pretty much what we asked for is what we got here. So another way that you can get, um, you know, really crisp, clean images is to put in things like, you know, natural reality or Pixar style, you know, to get what you're looking for. Now, they didn't give us the cute jean suspenders. That would have been cute. And this is another one. Again, you can see that we've got the style. We got the aspect ratio. Um, this was an up beta version here. And the other thing is you can add chaos. And chaos is basically going to give you different versions or different looks of the prompt that you put in. So you can see that, you know, we got one with their heads um, sideways with the shades on and we got one straight on. Um, but it would give you four different images um, based off of your prompt. So none of them will look similar. Okay. So that's another thing that you can add to your um, prompt is chaos. Then we have here portrait showing an African-American and Victorian dress sitting in the style of Mike Diodato, Louis Royo. And then we added some additional keywords. We're using an aspect ratio this time of nine by 16, quality two. Your quality goes up to five. Um, that's the max you can get in quality. And then we have the versioning. And then we have a, another nice image here. I can see as some nice wall, wall art guys. Um, you can see we put flowing silhouettes in here. We had an Xbox 360 graphics, minimalist ink painting, graphic abstraction, um, clear and precise art, ink blots, you know, to get a different look. Here's another one where we um, added the artist names in there, Lisa Frank and Charlie Bowater. Um, we said we wanted more of like a teenager um, in there. Lots of curly, we said braided hair, but we got curly. Um, colorful, we got that. Bright pink pop art, yep. Hyper-realistic digital painting, close-up portrait. And then again, we added more artists, Boss Tran and Josephine Wall. Got our quality, our aspect ratio, and our versioning in there. And then we have this now. This one is another version of Chaos. And I added this one so you could see a full version of what Chaos, Chaos will look like. So you can see we have Chaos 20. And this is the prompt that we use. And based off of this prompt, we got four different images. Okay, so play around with chaos a little bit, um, you know, to get, you know, what it is or, you know, just to see what kind of variations you can get out there. Okay, so that's it for our images. Now I'm going to show you one more thing if I can remember where to find it, because it's been so long since I've been on here. Give me one moment. All right, so on the Discord server, um, and actually, I think it's in Mid Journey. Let me get back to Mid Journey. So, <clears throat> under settings, uh, no, 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 not settings. There we go. Um, near your profile in Mid Journey, that is where you can actually click on the three little dots, and that's where you can manage your subscription. Um, and then it will show you um, in a moment, it'll show you the pricing plans that um, are available to purchase Mid Journey. Um, and it'll show you the, the pricing and everything. So you have a basic plan for $10 a month, or you can get the standard plan for $30 per month. And then they have a pro plan, which is $60 um, per month. And it shows you everything that you, you get for the 60 versus the 30 versus the 10 um, out there. 
So I'm on the $30 plan and I purchased, I have created so many images, it's ridiculous. And I've never run into a, a issue where they said that I've run out of um, images for the month, okay? So you don't have to go to the top, top, top of the line with the $60 plan. You can do the 60, um, excuse me, the $30 plan and you'll get more than um, enough ability to create as many images like you see here that I have. These are all the images that I have created inside of a journey. All right. And um, I think it was one other thing. Let me see if it's in help and frequently asked questions. <clears throat> so in help and frequently asked questions in mid journey, there is a getting started using Discord and a user guide. Check those out, guys. It will help you with prompts. Um, it'll also help you with talking about quality, style, chaos, all that good stuff you'll be able to find out here. And of course, if you get stuck and not sure what to do when you have a question at mid-journey, you always just go to the Discord server, back to your little sailboat here, and you have the rooms where you can go in and ask questions um, to get help and that type of thing if you're stuck, okay? But that's it, guys. I just wanted to kind of talk about MidJourney and Discord and help you understand. Again, I have several video tutorials um, that walk you through the complete process of creating prompts in MidJourney and signing up for MidJourney and Discord, creating those accounts from the beginning. So those are on my YouTube channel as well. And yeah, check out some of my other videos as well. I have over 450 video tutorials on my YouTube channel. So yeah, if you're not a currently, if you're not currently subscribed to my YouTube channel, then please like, share, and subscribe. Okay. So hey guys, if you're in my Facebook group, Candors is Cricket and Creative Crafters, I want to thank you guys so much for the love and support that you show via Facebook and following me. If you would like to join my Facebook group, um, it will be linked in the description of this video tutorial. All you have to do is agree to the Facebook group rules and we'll get you in. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll get you in. Um, and if you're currently subscribed to my YouTube channel, I want to thank you guys so much for the love and support that you show via YouTube. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel um, and you like my method of teaching, then please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. So you can see here, this is my YouTube channel. And I have over, I have 451 videos out here and you can go to the playlist and I have some things categorized for you. Um, mid journey, that's where you can find everything that's related to mid journey. Also creative fabrica, rhinestones, how to use attach well slice and flatten in Cricut design space. We got our crafting tutorials, sublimation projects, when you get alerts inside Cricut design space and yeah, so check it out. All right. All right, guys, that's it. You guys know my motto is each one reach one so that each one can teach one. And you guys have an amazing day. Bye.